Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to take a quick look at the GSI Dutch Oven. This is the 10 inch version, so this is the smallest one that they have available. And the nice thing about this is that since it's an anodized aluminum construction, it's still going to give you a very durable, long lasting, even temperature uh, for your Dutch oven, but it's going to be about a third of the weight of a traditional or kind of standard cast iron Dutch oven. So this weighs about three pounds. It's really nice and light, but it's still going to be strong enough and durable enough to be used all the time. And it's going to give you that nice even cooking that you expect from a Dutch oven. Um, of course, cast iron does a do a little bit better job of distributing the heat and kind of um, retaining that heat as well. Aluminum does a little bit better job of dissipating heat or letting it go. So that is kind of one give and take with uh, aluminum over cast iron, but it's still gonna do a great job for you. And as long as you have it on over the flame or over your, um, your cooking fire, you should be just fine to get everything cooked up as you would normally with that cast iron. Now, one thing that I have noticed uh, some people are not a big fan of with this is that it does have a kind of um, for the lid, it fits nice and tightly, but some people like to use these as griddle pans. But since it doesn't have a smooth surface, you can't really do that. But it's not really designed for that anyway. It's just kind of like some of them kind of give you a bonus of you can use it if it's a flatter, smooth surface, but that's not the case with this one. That being said, since it is anodized aluminum, which is an electrochemical process to create a nice barrier between the uh, aluminum, it's kind of a, a, a change in the structure of aluminum. It's going to give you a really smooth, good cooking surface that's non-stick without needing any kind of coating. So you don't have to worry about the coating ever flaking off or coming apart or um, wearing down from this pan. It's gonna work just like the same way as a well-maintained cast iron, but you also don't have to season it like you would with cast iron either. So pretty low maintenance. It's gonna be a very nice addition to your cooking set. Uh, it's just got a flat bottom there. Some of the bigger sizes do have little feet on the bottom, but this one is flat. We've got two handles to make it easy to transport. And then again, our lid fits nice and snug over the top to allow us to bake or make some chili, fried chicken, biscuits, whatever we wanna cook up on our fire, you can do that with this. It's a nice compact uh, size. It fits about two quarters or two quarts of material inside there. Again, it's about 10 inches in diameter. And then as far as the height with the lid, it's about three and a half inches tall and again weighs about three pounds. It is covered by a limited lifetime warranty and that's pretty much all there is to it for our look at the anodized aluminum cast iron, or excuse me, anodized aluminum Dutch oven. I hope that this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right one for you. As I mentioned, there are a couple other sizes available here at eTrailer.com, along with a lot of other camping cookware and gear in general, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. So definitely be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.